Super rugby, folks. Super rugby. Where's my whiteboard? Um, not, not in front of the whiteboard today. We are going to Eden Park. We're going to go check out the Blues at home to the Force. If you've been to Eden Park before, you'll know what I'm doing. I'm walking to the game because uh, if you know Eden Park, you cannot park your car anywhere near Eden Park. There's no parking. There's no street parking. You will see there's big signs up on the wall, on the wall, uh, on the street lamps essentially, which say special event, no parking or your car will get towed away for the entire area around the stadiums. Yeah, you have to park miles away and then essentially walk. This is what I'm talking about. Special event, restrictions apply. The other option is to take the train or the bus, I suppose, but I drove. So with the drive comes the walk. Let's go. So the plan is, because we haven't bought tickets, we will go grab some tickets because there's like a $6 fee to buy them online plus a $1.50 processing fee. So a $20 ticket becomes $27.50 and call me cheap. Call me cheap, but I don't want to pay that. So um, I can't imagine there's going to be a big queue for tickets. So we'll go in, we'll grab some tickets and then I'll take you have a look around Eden Park. That's the plan. Maybe have a look at the price of the beer. We'll have a look at like the seating arrangements where you can sit and kind of the different levels of tickets like the cheap seats, silver seats, gold seats, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, maybe some of you guys will come along to a Blues game one of these days. Now, apparently, because today's is an afternoon game, is they want to spruce things up for the kids. So every adult uh, gets to bring one kid for free. Sadly, I did not bring my child, uh, either of them. But um, yeah, there's going to be all kinds of kid stuff. Like I think they said like a Ferris wheel or something. So there's going to be stuff there for the kids to do. Hence the afternoon kickoff, like they're really trying to market this one for the kids. So we'll see what it's like. It may not quite be the quintessential blues super rugby experience, but we'll we'll have a look. Here we are, team. The glory that is Eden Park. What a nice day for a rugby match, eh? Now I'm not predicting the attendance is going to be phenomenal for this one. Uh, as I said, partly because of the opposition. As I said, no offense, Force fans. It's just not as big a draw. But also the fact that the Warriors, the league team, is playing on at the same time. So I've already seen a lot of people heading the other direction. Now let's have a look. Was my prediction about a short ticket queue correct? Or am I going to have a long wait ahead of me? Dun dun dun. Virtually nobody there. Eden Park. New Zealand's National Stadium. The name they have helpfully gave themselves, so joy. Let's get a ticket. Oh, okay. Thanks yeah. a lot. Entry H, entry A. Which one are we at here? Let's go have a look. Now, my secret plan to not buy online and to save the processing fees has been thwarted because it's the same price no matter if you buy online or if you buy at the stadium. Bugger. Right, first bit of food pricing, cinnamon sugar donuts, 8 for $5, 18 for $10, 40 for $20, donuts. Well folks, here we are, this is Eden Park on game day, Super Rugby, as I mentioned, uh, the crowd ain't the flashiest. I do think partly the fact that the Warriors are playing at the same time in the Rugby League is probably a factor, but I mean if you look down here, there's a decent wee crowd in this kind of central area. These are the cheap seats, largely empty. And uh, the section down the other end doesn't look too bad. One interesting thing about Eden Park, if you ever come, is the cheap seats, essentially once you get yourself into the stadium, you can pretty much just sit wherever you want. Nobody's going to check your ticket. The worst that's going to happen is you might have a slightly awkward situation where somebody says, excuse me, you're in my seat. If you can handle that, get the cheap seat and just sit wherever you want.
So how much does it cost to come to Eden Park in terms of your seats? Well, it depends where you sit. Uh, those would be $20 seats. Same with the ones at the other end. Uh, the ones in the corners and where I'm sitting right now, these would be $30 seats. And then the south side of the stadium, there's your $40 seats. And then over this way, $60 seats. So essentially the shop back there has got $7 hot chips, $8 pies, $7 hot dogs. We got donuts over there. I've seen some kids with candy floss, but I'm not sure where. <sighs> Tastes expensive. Beer was $10.50. Um, yeah. If you're going to buy food or drink at Eden Park, you've got to prepare to spend a few bucks. But that's certainly not unique to this location. Well, that's half time. Let's go have a look at what the supposed like children's entertainment is. I've seen the Ferris wheel, but I'll show it to you. Um, it's probably not what you're picturing. Here's the here's the um, the Ferris wheel. It is taller than me. It's not a hell of a lot taller than me. Well, it's taller than me. They did say that we're going to have a Ferris wheel, so I guess technically they were correct. Ice cream and candy floss back that way. I have noticed there's plenty of spots to um, to get water. So if you were looking to refresh with some old H2O, that's probably the spot to get it done. And if you haven't been to Eden Park before, that's the number two ground where they do all the cricket. Well, folks, the halftime entertainment is some kids running around with some inflatable balls. I think they've pretty much given up on telling them how to play. They're also doing a beach ball game where you've got to get your beach balls all the way up to the top of the stand and back. Yeah. They've also got a kiss cam going at halftime. So, are they going to kiss? Are they going to kiss? Are they going to kiss? Okay. Nope. All right, let's go for a little walk. We'll see just how close you can get to the ground on this side because the action is actually down here so yeah you can sit pretty close not quite as close as you can in Hamilton Hamilton is much closer but you're certainly a lot closer here than you are in uh, Wellington where you're miles from there the ground because it's a big oval. No, I know up in Europe you guys are pretty big on the whole respect the kicker thing. This is a blues guy lining up a shot of goal right now. And you can probably hear it maybe. It's just a quiet din. Nobody's booing because it's the home kicker. But certainly nobody's making a great effort to be particularly quiet. take another walk and see if we can get right up the top uh, up there because on the side I'm sitting on these ones are all these ones are all corporate boxes so there's no way in but those ones up there uh, they should be right let's go have a look all right let's go up some stairs there's a few of them. There you go, nice and high up. I don't even think they were selling these seats for this game just because they knew the game wasn't going to be anywhere near a sellout. So now this section, that section up there on the top, Technically not even supposed to be open, but you can see a fair few people have Have come up here to enjoy the elevated views and you certainly can see More of the game up here, but it's not as close But you can certainly get a good feeling for the action all the way up here Look at this folks, they're even letting people on the field after the game. I'm literally walking on Eden Park's uh, soil there's Falafanga, a wallaby, 
some of these guys are pretty big units, so um, yeah, pretty cool. Well that's it folks, that was Eden Park, what did you reckon? Bit quiet, good enough game. Uh, one of the guys a couple of seats down from me, I could hear him saying to his mate, they want to come back on a Friday or Saturday night because there was no atmosphere and it was the Blues B team playing. But the fact that the kids got to go on the field at the end, that was pretty cool. I think that'll have, um, you know, genuinely some kind of long lasting memories for those kids because it's one of my main memories of coming to rugby as a child. Uh, it's just, you know, seeing your heroes up close. You don't usually get to do that, but they, um, they let people out onto the field. So that's pretty cool. That was Eden Park, folks. What do you reckon? Certainly a different experience when you head to like an All Blacks game or just any kind of sellout really. I've been to a couple of Super Rugby sellouts there and it's just a way different vibe. So um, yeah, what can you say is what it is. But um, yeah, hope that was a bit of something different folks. Gotta get back home to my whiteboard cause uh, I'm missing it. But you guys take care, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.